Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about brachial plexus anatomy. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what the brachial plexus is. And not only that, you'll also be able to draw the brachial plexus with all of the nerves that are involved. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we're looking at the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is basically a network of nerves coming from the ventral rami of C5 through T1. So here we can see uh, C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. And we have some nerve roots that are coming from those ventral rami. If we look at a cross section of the spinal cord, here you can see the spinal cord and here you can see the vertebra. Uh, we have a ventral ramus and a dorsal ramus at each level. And on the ventral end, we have the motor output. Okay, so these are motor fibers, motor neurons that are innervating the muscles of the upper extremities. And the way I remember this is M O V. E, move, all right, to move, we have motor, output, ventral, efferent. So it's motor fibers, their output, they are going away from the central nervous system. Uh, they're coming from the ventral rami, and they're considered efferent fi fibers. And on the opposite end, on the dorsal side, we have S, I, D, a, that's not a word like move, so it's not as, as cool, but you know it's exactly opposite. A sensory input, dorsal, afferent, or afferent, depending on where you're from. All right, so motor output, ventral, efferent, that's what we're dealing with in this video. And sensory input, dorsal, afferent, or afferent, uh, that's a topic for another video. So let's focus on the move right now. We're going to look into more detail uh, when it comes to the brachial plexus, and that's exactly what we have here. So now you're seeing a bunch more detail. You're seeing the roots, the trunks, the divisions, the cords, and it's not listed here, but I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put my own dotted line since this doesn't have it. And I'm going to put branches. Branches. Come on. Here we go. All right. Roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. And these are going to make up the, these are going to form the nerves that are innervating the muscles of the upper extremities. And we're starting with the roots, and then we're going to have some combining to form trunks, and uh, then we're going to have some divisions and cords and branches. And the way I remember this is R, T, D, C, and B. That doesn't mean it much right now, right? Uh, but that stands for Robert Taylor Drinks Cold Bear. Robert Taylor drinks cold beer. If you can remember that, you can remember roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. All right? Robert Taylor drinks cold bears. A, a simple mnemonic device that you can use for remembering the sequence. So we're starting with the roots and we're ending up with branches. And you can see it's a complex network of uh, nerves that are combining and branching off and so on. And it can look quite intimidating when you look at it like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to break it down. I want you to take out a, a, a plain sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper, or something that you can draw on. And we're going to break this down so that you can, you know, by the time you finish this video, you'll have a strategy that you can use and you can spend about 30 minutes to an hour maximum and you'll have this perfected. So if you don't have a blank sheet of paper in front of you right now, you can pause this video and then come back to it. Uh, and I'm going to go through these steps and you can pause as I go through the steps so that you can follow along and do exactly uh, what I'm showing you. So first, what I want you to do is at the top right of the paper, I want you to start with these five lines coming down at an angle, just like this. And I want you to label them C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. These are the five roots. 
these are the five roots and that's what we're starting with so draw these five lines and then the next thing I want you to do the top two we're gonna combine and the bottom two we're gonna combine and when we combine them we're then gonna extend the lines so that we have the superior trunk the middle trunk and the inferior trunk this is exactly what I want you to do extend those lines to form the three trunks so we have Robert Taylor the roots and the trunks so next we have Robert Taylor drinks so that's gonna be the divisions this is gonna be the the, the first part part where they split and they're all gonna split into two divisions the anterior and posterior divisions so this is exactly what I want you to do draw that on your paper anterior and posterior divisions if you need to pause as I'm doing this feel free to do so but I want you to walk through this with me then what's gonna happen the upper two uh, anterior divisions are gonna combine to form the lateral cord okay so Robert Taylor drinks cold the C is for cords so we're gonna combine the upper two anterior divisions to form the lateral cord all of the posterior divisions are gonna join together and form the posterior cord and then we have one that's left over the anterior division from the inferior trunk is gonna go on to form the medial cord so we have the lateral cord the posterior cord and the medial cord and these are named in reference to the axillary artery that's passing right along here so this is going to be posterior to the axillary artery this is going to be lateral to the axillary artery and this cord is going to be medial to the axillary artery all right so once we form these three cords we're going to get the second branching off and that's gonna give us the lateral and medial branches of all the cords the lateral cord the posterior cord and the medial cord are all gonna branch into the lateral and medial branches alright so this is the second time where we have branching we have branching over here into anterior and posterior and now we have branching over here to lateral and medial all right, so I want you to draw that out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna form a big M. And this is the big M that we're gonna form. And you can see here, we, com we combine the medial branch of the lateral cord and the lateral branch of the medial cord to form the median, the median nerve. All right, so we have our medial nerve, median nerve right here in the middle. And here we have MC and U. Now the way I, rec I remember this is uh, this big M, we can picture it as an emblem or a logo for Mickey Mouse University. <laughs> Mickey Mouse University. This is the musculocutaneous, musculocutaneous nerve. This is the median nerve. And this is the ulnar nerve. Musculocutaneous, median, and ulnar. Mickey Mouse University okay so I want you to draw that out just like I'm doing it here and then the lateral and medial branches of the posterior cord are gonna extend and we're gonna form the axillary nerve and the radial nerve alright the axillary nerve and the radial nerve now this is the core of the brachial plexus here we have some other branches to add on some other nerves that are gonna come off in different places and this is how I want you to remember them I want you to remember them as four groups of threes four groups of threes the first group of threes are gonna come from the first the first three roots and you can see them over here these first three roots oops let's go back one step the first three roots are gonna combine to form the long thoracic nerve first three roots combine to form the long thoracic nerve then the next group of three are gonna come from these 
three unbranched regions at the top. And you can see them here, here, and here. And that's going to be the dorsal scapular nerve, the suprascapular nerve, and the lateral pectoral nerve. This is the second group of three. And I want you to draw this out just like I'm doing. It looks like a lot, but you're going to do this over and over and over for about 30 minutes, and then you're going to get this, and you'll know all the nerves of the brachial plexus, at least all the ones that we're going to go over. The next group of threes, the third group of threes, are going to be on the posterior cord, and that's going to be the upper subscapular, I mean, yes, the upper subscapular and the lower subscapular nerves. And in between that, we're going to get the thoracodorsal nerve. All right, upper subscap, lower subscap, and thoracodorsal. That's the third set of three. And then the last set of threes are going to be the medial pectoral nerve, medial brachial nerve, and medial antebrachial cutaneous. So medial brachial cutaneous and medial antebrachial cutaneous. That is our fourth group of threes. Once we've done that, we only have one more nerve to add to the mix, and that is the nerve to subclavius that you can see over here. So what I want you to do with your blank sheet of paper, you're going to pull out multiple blank sheet of papers, and you're just going to go through that same sequence. Rewind this video and do it over and over and over, and you'll get the entire brachial plexus down. I'm not giving you details as to what it's what these different nerves are innervating as yet. Uh, we're going to get into some of that in later videos. But in the end, these are all of the branches that we have. 16 branches coming off of this brachial plexus, the long thoracic, dorsal scapular, uh, nerve to subclavius, suprascapular nerve, lateral pectoral nerve, upper and lower subscapular, thoracodorsal, medial pectoral, medial brachial, medial brachial cutaneous, medial antebrachial cutaneous, and then our last five over here, uh, musculocutaneous, axillary, median, radian, ma radial, and ulnar nerve. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you're enjoying this video, please, right beneath this video, you can click on like. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button at the top of the video. But the most important part is for you to come back over to the website, interactive-biology.com, for more biology videos and other resources to help make biology fun. So th this is Leslie Samuel. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.